Hey folks, Dr. Duncan here, and I'm going to show you how to set up and sample a built transect. You're going to be using this at Ruffner Mountain um, when you're sampling at the position low on the slope of the mountain and also up on the ridge. We're going to be using equipment that you've already used in previous labs. Uh, includes a chaining pin and also the transect tape. So let's get started. We're going to thread the... Well, first of all, your instructor is going to show you where to place your belt transect, like where to start it right off the trail. And once you know that location, you're going to take your chaining pin and thread it through the tip of the transect tape, just like this. Okay, so it's right through the transect tape, just like this. And then you're going to plant that in the ground firmly. And then you're going to walk it out 10 meters. I'll do that. Okay, so if you've done it right and well, um, it's going to lay low to the ground. It's not going to be going up and over vegetation, and it's going to be a nice straight line. Easy to do here on the lawn, harder to do out there in the forest. Um, also, I've anchored both ends. So I showed you how I anchored this end. The other end is going to be anchored as well, so that as you guys work in your plot and you um, in your feet or whatever touch the tape. It's not going to distort the tape. You'll have a straight line for all of the sampling that you're going to do Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to sample soil depth So uh, let me reposition the camera and then uh, we'll get started on that Okay, so to sample soil depth what we're going to do is we're going to take this chaining pin and at the positions along the transect tape that are described in your in your lab instructions we're going to drive this into the ground as deep as it will go until it encounters an, an obstruction. So let me uh, pretend to do that here for you here. So looking down into the ground, I'm going to drive it as deep as it'll go. And that's I'm already hitting a rock, okay? That's as deep as it goes. So I'm going to reach down and grab on the ground right where it goes into the ground. I'm going to pull it up like that. And I'm going to keep my fingers there because what I next need to do is measure how deep in the ground that went. So I'm going to use our meter stick for this. Okay, so here's our meter stick and I'm going to measure the distance that it went into the ground. And so that turns out to be 10.4 uh, centimeters. 10.4 uh, 10 centimeters. So that is what we would, I would write down for soil depth at that particular position. All right, so we're back here to our belt transect. Uh, the last thing I want to show you in this video is, um, is, is how to sample efficiently, how to sample easily on your belt transect. Um, our belt transects are two meters wide. So instead of trying to imagine a, a, a quadrat that is 10 meters long and two meters wide off to the left, um, off to the right or to the left, what we're gonna do instead is I want you to imagine that this line here is the center line of your belt transect. So all you have to do to figure out like what trees are in the transect is simply to walk along the transect tape holding the meter stick out one edge level with the, the, the transect tape and as you walk in, along you'll be able to easily see which trees are inside the belt transect and which trees uh, or outside the belt transect. And of course, you only identify and measure the ones that are in the belt transect. Let me simulate doing that out here. I'll walk towards the camera, holding the line out, I mean, holding the meter stick out as if I'm doing that. So imagine I'm walking along, I've got the meter stick like so, and as I'm walking along, I can tell which trees are in the belt transect and which are not. Of course, this looks absolutely ridiculous because I'm out in the middle of a lawn. There's no trees uh, around here for me to measure, but it illustrates what you'll be doing out in the field. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Um, I can certainly show you in the field uh, some of these, tri these tricks and uh, you'll be able to master them in no time.